what's in my makeup video. What's in my makeup video? What's in my makeup bag video? Hi my loves and welcome back to my channel. Um, so today's video is going to be a long overdue what's in my makeup bag video. Um, so I'm just going to get straight into it because there like, is a lot in there. Um, it's absolutely massive. I don't actually use everything but I kind of take it around with me most of the time just because I like to have it as a safety net. I guess I feel more secure when I have it with me just in case I need it. Even on days where I've got no makeup on I kind of just leave it in my bag because you never know what might pop up and where you might need to go. Anyway, put your face on. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. The bag itself is from Primark. Um, I've had it forever, for literally for like two years and it still looks brand new. It hasn't come apart or anything and I hope I hope I don't drink it now. Um, but it looks like it's a bra or some underwear or something. But it is really pretty. It's like a peachy colour with black lace and it fits so much in there. Um, and I'm just going to go in, go straight in. And I'll try and give you a mini review of all of the products as well because most of them I use in a lot of my videos. So you guys have probably seen already but this will be like my chance to tell you what I think of them. I've just dropped something, sorry. Um, so I will start with my foundation. Um, this is the foundation that I wear every day. It's the Maybelline Fit Me in 220. Um, it's very, very similar to the MAC Studio Fix. I've said this a gazillion times. Um, I'm in shade NC35 in the, in the MAC foundation and 220 in this. The only difference I would say is this is silkier. Um, so it's better for dry skin than the MAC one, but the MAC one does last all day. Kind of leave MAC for special occasions and I'll just use this day to day just because I get through so much of it. Um, and I will put this on with this flat foundation brush from OPV Brushes, which is also amazing. Um, actually, probably doing things in order is not going to work. I'm just going to take things out as they come. Okay, so the second thing that I carry around is this um, Master Sculpt Contouring Kit from Maybelline. Um, I did a little mini review of this in my September favourites. So I'll put the link for that down below or here or something so you guys can click on that and see what I think of that. But I carry that around with me because I wear it most days. That's the brush and it's fallen out. I don't actually want to put it on my look at my because I've got white trousers on. I don't want to be getting contour on white trousers. Um, next thing, this blusher brush is from Boots. Um, and the blusher that I use most days is this um, blusher from Bourjois in shade 85 Sienna. Uh, when you swatch it, it doesn't, it's not really pigmented, but I like that. I like really, really subtle um, blusher. Even when I've gone for like a minimal makeup look, I still prefer subtle blush. I'm not like a bright pink girl. I kind of prefer nude pinks and browns. Um, and I normally mix that with this uh, Rimmel Bronzing Shimmer bronzer but i use it as a blusher so that's been reviewed in my september favorites as well so you can check that out but that's what i'm using at the moment for my blusher if you guys want to see an everyday makeup wall like this makeup work is kind of the same look i do all the time if you guys want to see that let me know in the comments down below and i can film that for you as well um next thing i only picked this up like two days ago um, is this pure colour baked highlighter from New Look but I'm carrying it around just because I'm not like I know everybody's like crazy about strobing at the moment I'm not too huge on highlighting I kind of prefer to save it for special occasions I feel like if you go for a full, fully contoured highlighter look every day it doesn't look different when it's a special occasion um, but this is like a golden peachy bronze um highlighter so it's really I'm wearing it right now you can't actually tell it's really really subtle but then it just does give you that sort of highlight um, to define the cheekbones so I really really like that um yeah so I'm carrying that around and I'm using I've been wearing that using this contour brush from Real Techniques even though I've been using it even though this is the highlighter but yeah works really well I had a really I had another really good brush that I used to use for my highlighting I don't know where it's gone and I've got a feeling it's probably like under my bed or, or at the bottom of a handbag or something um next thing eyelash curler um I think this is probably from Savers pretty standard love eyelash curlers um I've got fake lashes on at the moment but normally just eyelash curlers and mascaras are like my must have thing for makeup kit I think even if you've got no makeup on you just curl your lashes put a little bit of mascara on it makes you look more awake um so yeah that was try that with me um liquid eyeliners I've got a couple in here where's the third one gone I've got three bottles in here just because I'm really bad at throwing things out so this is brand new this is the fast stroke 
um, eyeliner from Collection 2000. I'm not, don't love it that much. I've used this since forever. I think it's just a convenience thing, but it's not that great because it does kind of come off after a while. And then this is my old bottle, which I'll probably just throw away now. See, I, I never clean up this makeup bag. Um, but yeah, that's in there because I use, I use it sometimes and it run out. So I've got a new one, but didn't throw the old one out. And then this is a sleek makeup dip it eyeliner. So this is a liquid liner as well. I kind of carry both of them around just because the nib on this one is a little bit thicker. So if I need to kind of go over something, I'll use this. Whereas I use this because it lasts longer. Um, this is probably my most favourite brush ever. It's the... Oh god, it's nearly rubbed off. 168, I think, from MAC. I use this to blend my contour in. I just love it. I literally can't live without it. Like, whenever... I, obviously, like, if my sister pinches it, if I put it somewhere and I can't remember where, I literally have a mini heart attack. I'm like, oh, how am I going to blend my contour? Um, and then, I like, oh, there's a crap of with this as well. Got my Carmax. Um, I normally just put this on before I go to sleep or if I'm, not, if I'm having... If I go to work without any makeup on... And let me just stick this on just because then it will help get rid of my dry lips. This, I have no idea what this is called. I've had it for so long, but it's from Collection 2000. It's loose powder at the bottom here, but then it's got a brush, so it only lets out a certain amount. And I use this to set my highlighter, and it is amazing. The only problem is if I go back to get it, I've got no idea what shade this is uh, or anything. But I have literally had it forever, and it hasn't actually run out yet. Um, I'm just trying to work out how much is in there. Can't tell, it still looks full. It's not good because I know you should, you should throw makeup out after a while, so probably not. I probably should get a new one. Right, what else have I got in here? I've got two mascaras, and they're actually the same because my sister's pinched one of them. Okay, I've got the two L'Oreal Paris uh, Mega Volume Mist Manga Mascaras in here. Normally, I'll have one of these and I'll have the Lash Accelerate from Rimmel London, which is exactly the same colour but the reverse so it's a black lid and a gold um gold bottle yeah um but what what i love about this one is that it gives loads and loads of volume it kind of makes your lashes clumpy but in a good way it's so normally i'll go in with this a couple of coats of this and then i use the lash accelerate to separate the lashes so that they're not clumpy um and then they've got length so that is like my all-time favorite mascara combo um i didn't like this when i first picked it up um I didn't like it when I first tried it. I tried it at my cousin's house and I didn't like it. And then literally like a year after it came out, I thought I'll give it another go. And it really is my favourite. And then I've got a couple of bottles of this Collection 2000 um, concealer. Once again, the writing's very just because they're in the bag and they hit everything else. I've got one in cool medium two and one in warm medium three. Um, I don't know why I've got this one. I think it probably just hasn't run out because it's too light. Um, and I kind of just have left it in there. Um, but the one that I use recurringly is the Warm, warm Medium 3. Um, normally I'll just use this to cover my eye bags and then go in with the Age Rewind Concealer um, from Maybelline. Mm, yeah, it's from Maybelline, it's because the label's coming off. Um, but this is in shade Light. Um, so I kind of mix these up together to do my highlighting and concealing normally. And then I've got a little sharp there at the bottom. Um, and I've got a couple of lip liners. Um, so I've, the first one I've got is um, the Rimmel London Exaggerate in shade 18 Addiction. Um, if I use this I kind of will use it all over my lips and then go over with one of the lipsticks I'll show you in a minute. I kind of tend to stick to nude lips and then maybe a pink once in a while. Um, the other lip liner that I always carry around, and you can see how much I use it because it's so small now, um, is this um, lip liner from Essence in shade 5 Soft Berry. It's like a maroony shade, um, but it goes really nice with nude lips. And this was a pound from Wilkinson's. Um, and the final lip liner is a gosh lip liner in Antique Rose, which is like my favourite pink shade. And then I've got a couple of lip products. So the first one that I'm carrying around at the moment is um, the Matte Antique Velvet Touch Lipstick, which I'm loving, which is also reviewed in my September favourite, so you guys can check that out there. Um, I'm wearing this right now uh, with my other favourite, which is Honey Love by Max. I've got that on top. I kind of put this on top of everything, so whether it's like 
pink lipstick, a red lipstick, a maroon lipstick, and always add a little bit of honey glove just to make it a little bit more muted and matte. Um, and then the final shade, the final lipstick I've got is and this lipstick from Sleek in colour Liqueur 775. It's a lovely colour. The only problem with this, I'll wear it like rarely. I don't even know why I carry it around. It's it's a really, really nice colour, but it's shiny and I don't like shiny luster sheen lipsticks. I prefer my lipsticks. So even when I normally have a shiny lipstick, I'll matte it down with translucent powder. Uh, but yeah, I do carry that around because it's a it's a really good lipstick for Asian skin tones. Um, and it's kind of just a keep set to have it in my makeup bag. That being said, if you guys want to see a makeup uh, a video of like my favourite lipsticks for Asian skin tones, then let me know and I'll try and film that. And then the final lip product that I have is this um, Matte Me Lip Gloss. Well, it's not really gloss, is it? Because it's matte. Um, from Sleek in shade Pearl. This is one of my favourite shades. Normally I will put the gosh lip liner on and then put this on top and it creates like a really subtle nudie pink that goes really well with Asian skin tones and then I've just got, oh, I've got crap with the bottom of the makeup bag I've got a couple of rings um a safety pin and then I've just got two eye pens oh and a makeup brush an OPV brush I don't even know why I've got that in there it's um an eyeliner brush I think Okay, let's just leave that in there. Um, but the final two pencils that I've got is this eyebrow pencil from Primark in, I don't know what shade it is, but it's a really dark brown. This is amazing. Honestly, it was a pound and like, I put it in Primark makeup because I was going to film a video for you guys testing Primark makeup and I did film it and it, the makeup, most of it was rubbish. And then I realised when I was editing that it was blurry. So, so my, my camera just cut off. Whenever it films for more than 12 minutes, it cuts off and it's only when it cuts off that I realise how long I've been rambling for because when I was talking about the makeup I was like oh my god this video is going to be so short but clearly it's not because it's gone over 12 minutes already but yeah if you guys have got any questions leave them down below I haven't ever filmed a what's in my bag tag because literally it's always just like my purse and this um, but yeah if you guys want to see any uh, any tag videos or anything let me know down below I am thinking of doing another question and answer video because I haven't done one in ages so let me know if you want to see that and i can put a post on my instagram um but yeah that's pretty much it subscribe already subscribe if you haven't already uh, and i'll see you soon inshallah bye <laughs> um but today i am doing a september favorites video for you this is the first time i've ever actually done a favorites video video i'm gonna really struggle with that word the whole way through i keep saying video instead of video like the freshie me coming out so yeah